G'day and welcome to my channel and welcome to this video series on making electricity from wood. In this video I'm going to make up some sort of hoisting system for the gasifier. Uh, it's just getting too difficult, way too heavy to lift out the frame. Uh, not only that, it, it's also quite awkward. I've got to come up with some sort of hoisting system. I do have a gantry and a block chain here in the shed, but this bar here gets in the way. So I'm going to make some sort of hoisting system that stays within the gasifier frame, something uh, that attaches to the underside of these. So I thought I might construct some sort of a monorail that attaches to these. And um, so I'm going to try and use whatever I've got in stock here. So I reckon I can make a bit of monorail out of, out of some angle iron. Right, so now that I've got a bit of a monorail welded together, I've got to come up with some brackets so I can actually bolt it to the gas fire frame. So I just whip these up on the bandsaw, basically something like this. I'm going to weld these to the monorail, like so. That bolts to the top of the gas fire frame. There's a bit of a gusset, and that welds to the monorail. All right, we'll get them on the welding table and get them welded together. Not sure what happened here. I mean, obviously, I made this too short. But, you know, I measured it twice and I cut once. Maybe it's because I cut on the line rather than next to the line. But, yeah, it shouldn't have made that much difference. Uh, yeah, so a couple of possible solutions. I ended up going for this one. It's a bit like blacksmithing. I basically uh, hammered this with, uh, with the ball pen hammer just to uh, stretch it. Voila. It's not pretty, but you know what? Get a coat of paint on it. Yeah, that's life. So I just gotta weld the pins in for the rollers. Tell you what, it brings a bit of a different perspective to hammer tone, doesn't it? Just as well, I will be using hammer tone paint.
that's pretty much the rollers and uh, yeah they just slide on the pins just like so there we go and then just goes on the monorail just like that actually that's pretty good that actually that actually rolls along fairly well I'm happy with that beautiful now I'll just weld it together and then I'll fabricate the uh, hoop that goes in here or the let's call it the lifting eye I'm just going to tack weld this together in situ at least that way I can be confident it's going to fit properly That's all welded up and it's ground smooth on the other side so it sits here nice and flush so now I just got to make up an eye bolt or hoop or something rather and uh, I was just going to fabricate that out of flat bar but uh, rather than cutting something up I thought I'll just use uh, some of this scrap I got lying around so I was just going to weld these two together cut a hole in the middle I know it's a little bit more welding but yeah, it's always good sometimes to, to use your scrap metal Can't believe I just did that. Spot the problem? Yeah, I'm not gonna get away with that somehow. Ah, oh, you idiot. All right. Break out the angle grinder. There we go. Second time lucky. Well, there you go. It's all painted. It's all ready to go. So you can see this is where it's bolted to the top of the frame. And then at either end, I've just got this socket cap head screw. It just stops this from running off the monorail. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not too bad actually, for what it is. Um, I most certainly could have used uh, roller bearings for this. But I thought, you know, I've got a bit of ram bar lying around and uh, it virtually cost me nothing. So I think all that's left to do now is to put some weight on it and uh, see how we go. For the actual hoisting bit, I'm going to use one of these. I hardly ever use this. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's actually slightly dodgy. Um, and it does say here it's not for lifting, it's only for pulling. But really, I think it'll be fine. I mean, really, the gasifier is not that heavy. This lifting bracket ended up being bright red because um, it's what I had lying around. I've just been trying to use up some of my leftover paints. But any which way, it being bright red, it's not bad. At least, uh, yeah, I'm not going to lose it. seems to lift it quite easily uh, it's sort of leaning to one side that's because I've still got the side frame attached to it anyway I'm not going to lift it uh, out of the frame just now because I've still got the agitator drive and the cyclone attached to it uh, I've just got to take them off uh, but I'm not ready for that just yet uh, I've got a few other things I've, I've got to do first so I think we'll let it down Rightio, well in short, it's able to lift the gasifier up 
and lower it back down. One thing I did notice, however, when the gasifier is hanging off this, uh, this doesn't quite roll as freely. And I'm not quite ready to take the gasifier out of the frame yet. I need to take it out of the frame because I need to seal it up and uh, get it ready for a test run. Before I can do that, I need to make a bit of room in the shed here. Yeah, so I've got a fair bit of stuff lying around the shed at the moment. Here I've got some solar panels that I got just yesterday. 14 415 watt panels. So that's going to be coupled up to my off-grid inverter. Plus I also got this. This here battery, it's a LIFO 4 lithium ion, 6.5 kilowatt hours. Anyway, I think that'll do for now. Just got to get this out of the frame. But uh, that's for next video. And uh, hopefully uh, we'll also be making some gas. Until then, cheers and thanks for watching.